Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel on PSC programming using codices. In this video, I'm going to show you how to pack or combine bytes into a word or a double word and also how to unpack bytes of a double word. I hope you enjoy watching this video. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments and also don't hesitate to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. Assume that we have four bytes of data as you can see here. So I've called them as byte 4, byte 3, byte 2, and byte 1. And you know that each one contains 8 bits. In some scenarios, we would need to combine all these 4 bytes. We need to pack them into a single variable, which is which we should have the type of double word in this case. So the double word will have 4 bytes. Referring to the position of the byte in the double word, we will use this h, 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 l, LH and LL. On the other hand, sometimes we have the data in the form of a double word or a word maybe, and then we want to unpack and retrieve the information from the double word. In that case, we will do unpacking and we will get four bytes in this case, byte four, byte three, byte two, and byte one. So basically, if we pack these bytes into a double word and then unpack the same information from double word in two bytes, the information that we have in byte four there and here, they should be the same as each other. So I'm going to show you how we can do this. First thing that you can do is to use the online help of codices. If you come here, help me dash codices.com. And in the search field, if you type packing and click on search or press enter, you will see the relevant results. And here we see that there are these functions and function blocks which belong to the CAA underline memory library. The functions that I'm going to use in this video are the pack bytes to double word and also later I will use the unpack double word to two bytes. If you look at the content of this pack bytes to double word you can see that it receives four inputs. These are the four input uh, values in the form of bytes you can see that the data is shown in the hexadecimal form and then the result is in the form of a double word and over here we have the further explanation so you you see that each, each byte of the word will be provided as the first input then hl lh and ll this information will be the input and as the output we will get the double word from the function now let me switch to codices and show you how we can do it in the class environment. To demonstrate how we can perform this packing and unpacking, I have created an empty project with CFC as the programming language, and I have declared these variables that you can see here. So we have the four byte variables, byvar0, 1, 2, 0, 4. Then I have one double word variable, one word variable, and then another four variables of type byte. In the visualization, I have several text fields. They look similar to each other in this case, but I have also label label for them. So here we have the input bytes 0, 1, input bytes 0, 2, 0, 3, and 0, 4. And as the text field, I'm using, as the text, I'm using percentage %x in order to be able to uh, display the hexadecimal value in the runtime. And then as the text variable, for the first one, I'm referring to byte variable 0, 1, for the second one byte variable 0, 2, for this one byte variable 0, 3, and finally for this byte variable 0, 4. Then for the double word, I'm using a similar settings, but I'm just using this variable double word variable 0, 5. On the output side, these are the, the outputs that I will use. I'm using the similar settings, but as the variables, now I'm referring to variable byte variable 0, 6, 0, 7, 0, 8, and 0, 9. Now I'm going to show you how we can uh, write a very simple program in order to be able to pack this information into a double word or a word and then unpack or extract information from the double word or from a word. First, I need to click in this program development area, then drag and drop a box from the toolbox into the area and then I need to look for 
the, the function that we just discussed. Here I can start to type pack, but you, you see that nothing appears, yeah? So it means that we need to add that library to our project because it's not already there. Here I again type pack. So once I write pack, all the functions including pack will appear here. And I'm going to find the right one. So it was pack byte to double word. You, you can see that it's in the CAA memory library as we already have seen. And by clicking on OK, that library will be added into our project. And then I'll be able to choose that function over here. So I'm going to use uh, pack bytes to double word, this function. If I click on OK, we see the name of the function appearing here and clicking on enter. We have the four inputs listed here with one up. As for the inputs, I will use the byte variable 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4 for HH byte, HL byte, LH byte, and LL byte. These are something that we already have discussed. I'm just going to drag and drop the variables from the variable declaration area into the, the program development area. And as the output here, we will get the double word variable, 0, 05. Now, if I run, if I log in and run the code, I can show you how these four will be combined with each other, and then we will have the result in the double word form. So initially, everything here is equal to 0. I'm going to provide value. So in byte 1, I can provide the decimal value, and that decimal value will be between 0 and 255 because we have a byte here. I can provide uh, 147 as an example. But what appears here will be the value in the hexadecimal form, 93. For the second one, I can directly provide the value in the hexadecimal form, like F8, and for the rest as well. I'm going to provide 35 decimal and 70 in the form of hexadecimal. And as I enter the values, you can see that that, that value appears here. So 93, F8, 23, and 70 are the values that are taken from the bytes and are packed into the double word. You can also see the same uh, way in which the values are combined in order to form the double word. Now we see them in the form of hexadecimal. We can also change this. I already have changed the display mode to hexadecimal to make it easier to understand. By default, it was decimal and it was not easy to understand that the packing is performed. So keep in mind to keep the display mode in the hexadecimal form. So this shows how we can pack. And now I'm going to do the other way around and unpack uh, what we have in the double word into single byte. To do unpacking, first I need to insert another box and then look for unpack double word. If I choose this, I will have plenty of outputs. So there will be a single input, as you can see here, that will be the, the main variable, the main input variable, and then there are plenty of outputs. The outputs are created as the low word and high word, and then LL byte, LH byte, HL byte, and HH byte. And also we have access to the bits. If I click on OK, we need to declare an instance of this function block. It's in the form of a function block. And as the input to it, I'm going to use the double word that we had. And as for the output, for LL, I will use this variable for LH, HL and HH similarly. So in this way, you'll have access to the bytes, to the four bytes that we have. But again, you see that we have, we have access to the words, two bytes, the low and high one. And we also have access to bit number 0, 1, 2, up to 31. All right, now let us try to see if we get the correct result. So if everything works fine, what I have in byte 1 as the input should appear here in the double word and also at the output side. So for this, I'm going to write FA 
and you see that it appears here and there for the second one c8 and it appears there i can again provide decimal value if i provide 256 the system will not accept it because i can go up to 255 which is equal to ff and finally here i will provide one zero in the hexadecimal form and we have it here we can also work with the packing into word and unpacking from the word into the bytes it's pretty similar so i'm not going to do it and i guess you can try it as an exercise on your own so you see that in order to to do packing and unpacking we need to refer to these functions and function blocks from the caa memory library we need to add that library to our project by default it is not there and once we add it there it's pretty straightforward the way to provide the inputs in the cfc is also straightforward you can do the same thing with other programming languages like with ladder logic with function block diagram it will be pretty similar and also with structured text language as well all right so that was all that i wanted to share with you in another video later i will show an example of using this technique of packing and unpacking of the information in order to perform some meaningful tasks thank you for watching and see you later in another video bye for now